Hey, it's Reggie Piggies here, the Prospering Dead, and it's Monday morning. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope you had something exciting to do over the weekend. You spent time with family. That you had a great time. Um, if you follow me on YouTube, we're now over here on Facebook Live. So indulge me as I acknowledge people as they come on. In real time, as you come on, please type in the comments. Let me know where you're viewing from. Let me know if you're watching live or if you're watching replay. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, King Joe. I hope I said that correctly. Good morning. Thank you guys for joining. So, today's topic. We're going to talk about what we choose we live by. What we choose we live by. Who's choosing for you? Now, oftentimes we have the impression or we believe that we are making choices for ourselves. But in reality, we're, we're, in many cases, we're, we're guided by external forces. We're, we're guided by our environment. We're guided by society at large. We're guided by family members. We're guided by our, our place of employment. But are you really making choices for yourself? Are you choosing for yourself? Because what we choose, we live by. Our total existence is created and founded on what we think. We become what we think. Good morning, Clara. Good to see you. We become what we think. So we, our lives are shaped by our thoughts. Everything that you see in your life right now, everything that you have in your life right now, everything I have in my life right now are the result of what we think. But sometimes we are not aware of that we're being out of directed. We're being out of directed and we're being manipulated. How? Through media, through television, through movies, through music, through magazines, through conversations, yes, even through religion, we're being out of directed. We're being told what to think. And what happens is we get into a lazy pattern where we are not thinking for ourselves. We're not making choices for ourselves. Albert Schweitzer, who was a Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize winner many, many years ago, was asked what is, what's wrong with man? What's man's biggest challenge? What is his, what is man, and you know, by saying man, that means women too. What's our biggest challenge? And he, his response was that men don't think. Now, that sounds a little counterintuitive because you say, well, listen, I get up every day and I do this and I do that. And so I think. But we're talking about thinking on a deeper level. Are you really taking 100% responsibility for self? Are you really capturing your thoughts? Or are you just letting your mind wander? Napoleon Hill kept, uh, coined the frame uh, in Outwitting the Devil. If you haven't read or listened to the audio of that, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill, I suggest that you do because it is fascinating in terms of Mindset. It's fascinating in terms of how we really don't, without conscious thought, good morning, Anna, without conscious thought, control our, the way that we think. So what we choose, we live by. And who's choosing for you? Well, knowledge is, is knowledge gives us power. Knowledge of self gives us power. Knowledge of awareness gives us power. It gives us the ability to learn how to think. And believe it or not, here's one of the major keys that, that, that creates an issue when it comes to thinking. It's what is it? It, it is what we value. And, uh, and we, as humans, we value things that we spend money for. Money on, we believe, is are valuable, but the most valuable and, and priceless things that we have, we've all been given for.
for free. We've been given our life for free. We've been given our mind for free. We've been given this body for free. We've been given the ability to love, to, to, to have a family, to do so many things. The most priceless things that we have in this life are free. But we take those things for granted because we have been steered to believe that things of value are only the things that we spend money on. And that's what creates our frustration. That's what creates our frustration as people. That's what creates frustration in society today that we have this misnomer that success is money. But in reality, success is not money. Success is, success, people believe that money is the result of success when that in actuality, success is, the result, is, is not that. It, it's, success comes, you have to be successful before you earn money. You have to become successful before you uh, make your mark in society. It's, you, it's, it's a belief system that you have to have. It, it, it's things that you have to do before you get to that place. So we believe that things of value are things, the only things that we pay for, things that, that generate other things. But I submit to you that success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal, meaning that if you're doing what you want to do, if you set a goal for yourself, say like you want to be, in my case, I, you know, I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to, to, to build a business. I wanted to serve more people. I wanted to help more people reach their dreams. I wanted to be a, a mentor and a coach. And because I and doing exactly what it is I set out to do, that makes me a success. Success isn't always based on material things, which is, is what we are taught in this society. It's, it's how much stuff you have. And you can be, if you're a teacher and you're getting up right now, and if you're, if, again, type in the comments, let me know where you're viewing from. Type hashtag live, hashtag replay, so I know when you're watching. But if you're doing exactly what you want to do, if you're a school teacher and that's what you set out to do, you're a success. If you own a business and that's what you want to do, you're a success. If you're working at the job that you want want to have and you're being, you know, you know, you're achieving whatever goals that you want, you're a success. If you wanted to be a, a stay-at-home mom and that's what you set out to be, you're a success. If you're if you're a stay-at-home dad, you're a success. Success that isn't, you know, always winning the Super Bowl or the NBA Finals or, you know, uh, being Miss America. You know, that's success for those people. But where we get in trouble is we are so out of directed. We, we, we have to, we begin to compare ourselves to others. We begin to say, well, if I don't have that person's lifestyle, then I'm not a success. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal, meaning that if you are doing what it is that you want to do, the way that you want to do it, then you're a success. If you're happy at your job, then you're a success. If you're happy being a parent, you're a success. So knowledge gives us power. And it helps us to overcome our frustration because when we can overcome our frustrations, then we can live a fuller life. What we miss in this conformity that we have been conditioned into living, we, we, we miss the fact that we're unique, that we're one of a kind. We don't celebrate ourselves as individuals. We don't see ourselves as being the champion in our own story, the hero in our own story. We don't write our own narratives and we let others try to direct us in such a way that we become frustrated we and and oftentimes we're frustrated but we're unaware why we're frustrated and the thing is is that we're not making our own choices we're letting society choose for us we're letting um you know family members choose for us you know like the case in point you know many of us have experienced well 
you're going to go to school, you're going to get a job, you, you know, going to get good grades so you can get a job. I'm sorry for the noise. They're, they're doing some repairs around the building, so I'm sorry for the noise. But hopefully you can hear me. And um, so we're letting other people make choices for us. We're letting, we're, 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 you know, we get into relationships and we let, we let uh, significant other make choices for us. And then we become frustrated because people are, are, are pushing us and, and steering us in, in directions that we don't want to go. So we have to stand up for ourselves and say, hey, listen, you know what? I'm going to choose for me. I'm going to do this for me. I'm going to take responsibility for me. I'm going to take control of my life. I'm going to do what it is that's necessary for me to live a full life. Because after all, we've all been created to experience more life. That makes sense. Drop, drop a one in the comments if that makes sense to you. We 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 we're created to make, to live more life. Salika, good morning. Good to see you. So, knowledge gives us power. It gives us power over our frustrations. The better that we know know ourselves, the better that we know our triggers. The better that we understand what it is that causes our frustrations. One of the things that we don't do often enough, and I've gotten into this habit because I want you to understand it takes time to change a habit. It takes real time to change a habit. And it takes consistency and being persistent about it. So when we begin to take charge of ourselves, and for example, um, this morning, I'll give you an example. This morning, my daughter was eating breakfast, right? And I was in my room, and she was in her room, and she was finished. And I don't know if she was consciously aware of this, but she kept, you know, clinking her spoon against the bowl. Now, she had finished eating, but she just kept banging the spoon against the, uh, against the bowl. And, see, our flesh will get ahead of our thought processes sometimes, so... She kept doing it, and, and this went on for about maybe five or ten minutes. And finally, I just yelled out, stop. Stop. So the clinking of the bowl, for some reason, frustrated me, agitated me. But what I've learned now to do, I had to ask myself, why did it frustrate me? There, because of the way that we're wired, there are a million things that can get us frustrated and upset throughout the course of the day. But as we, we, we know, we become what we think. So you get to control your mindset. You get to control your thought processes. You get to assess what it is that's going on with you. So we must choose for ourselves what it is that we want. If, we, if something upsets you, ask yourself the question, why did that upset me? Why did that bother me? Why do I feel the way? Ask yourself questions. That will encourage you to seek answers. Because we must choose for ourselves the type of life that we want. We have to take responsibility because, again, as I said, we're so out of directed that we have everybody else choosing for us instead of us choosing for ourselves. So what we choose, we live by. The results that we experience in our lives come from the effort that we put forth. The results that we have in our life come from the efforts that we put forth. So what effort are you putting forth when it comes to your relationship, when it comes to your health, when it comes to your business, when it comes to your job? We reap what we sow. So what are you sowing? Are you sowing positivity or are you sowing discourse? Are you, are you sowing the things that you want? Or are you contradicting yourself by saying, hey, you know what? I don't believe that I deserve this. You get to choose. So, what we choose, we live by. You have to own it. The good, the bad, the indifferent. Who's choosing for you? Who's choosing for you? Because believe it or not, if you're not thinking and acting on and taking control of your life, somebody else is. Knowledge gives us power. 
And we must choose for ourselves so we can create and release that emotional steam that we feel each and every day. So we can live a life that, of, 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 that we want to live. And we all want to live in happiness. We all want to have a, a life of joy. We want to have a life of fullness. So you get to choose. Guys, I hope you got some value out of today. Go over to my YouTube channel, Reggie B. Piggies, on YouTube. And like this video today. Like any video that you watch on my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button so when I upload new content, you're the first to know. Hit the notification button here, particularly if you want to join me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Like and share this video today because somebody needs this word today. Guys, who's choosing for you? Think about that. Capture your thoughts. Be aware. Develop personal knowledge. Knowledge of self is the most important thing that we can do. On that note, guys, listen. Hope you guys got great value. I will talk to you again. Have a great Monday. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you again on Wednesday.